In this, <clears throat> in this video, I'd like to show you how to activate and use the error console in Firefox. I have it open here. I'm going to close it and show you where to go to open it. In Firefox, they have a tools option and a web developer function under there. And to get to the error console, you'll click on error console. So that's tools, web developer, error console. Click on that. Now it's a good idea to clear before you work on your current page. I already have the page up. And when I hit refresh, it'll find the error. The interesting thing here is if you go to tools, web developer, page source, that opened on my other monitor, let me bring it over, you'll notice that the page source has no JavaScript in it. It simply calls the JavaScript. Another nice feature of Firefox is that you can click on your CSS file and open it. Delete or backspace will take you back to the previous page. You can go to your JavaScript file. Backspace takes you to the previous page. I'll take that off the screen for a second. When I loaded the page, it found one error. There are more than that, but it found one. And it tells you that there's an unterminated string literal. And it points that room one width has an error. And it'll also take you directly to that JavaScript page where you can see it in context. Sometimes it'll identify errors that help in the line before or the line after. Actually, almost never the line after, but a line or two before. And you can see, if you compare this to the line before it, that when I close the width quotes, I have double quotes opening and single quotes closing. That's a problem. But I can't actually edit this here. But it will help you find your errors. So being able to use the JavaScript tools is incredibly useful.